Hey guys, Trent Tate at Mercedes Guy 205. Today I have a 2021 AMG GLE 53 Coupe. It's a very sexy vehicle and the newest addition to our GLE lineup. So I can't wait to show you all about it. And right up front, you'll notice very aggressive stance. It's got the AMG specific grille, which you can see there up in the front. This specific model has driver assistance. So you're going to see the nice glossy cap there to your oversized three-pointed star AMG badging. It does have full LED lights, two daytime running lights, which are both LEDs. These have the staggered wheels for optimal performance. So they're going to have two staggered different sizes there. These do have the AMG package wheels as well. European style turn indicators on your side mirror. This is the Dizinho Diamond White Pearl. So you got that nice pearlescent tone on this vehicle in particular. You'll notice the two double exhausts back here in the back. This one also has a tow package already set up on it. With the parking assistant package, which is standard on this vehicle, you will receive all of the extra surround view cameras. And it is both formatted, putting out 429 horses at 384 pounds of torque. This vehicle absolutely screams. So I'm going to jump behind the wheel, um, put it on the road. I'd love an opportunity to show you guys what an AMG Mercedes-Benz can really do. So right here, uh, leaving out, I'm going to put this vehicle here on the interstate. And whenever I jump on this exit, I'm going to I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle so you can see some of these uh, analytics that the Benz provides. I mean, I love knowing what's going on with my car and the Mercedes is telling me exactly how many pounds of boost. I got a G force meter there. I mean, we are absolutely smoking it. I mean, that's just getting on the on ramp. I mean, with very little very little effort you're you're at you're at interstate speeds in a vehicle like this and i feel like i have total control right now i'm riding in sport plus mode which actually uh is about the most minimal um traction control that uh that, that this vehicle offers as far as drive modes go so it, it's not more for your daily driving now the performance steering wheel that's standard on these gle 53s you're gonna have the ability to uh to change between different AMG dynamics, different drive modes, suspension controls, all right here from your uh, your push button. So I, just like that, I'm on the interstate, I'm riding, I just swapped this vehicle over to comfort mode. And I mean, it's gonna ease up the ride, not quite as a, an aggressive exhaust uh, note there. And uh, this model that we're driving actually has the Mercedes-Benz driver assistance package. So I can actually go in here and go on and set my cruise I've got the uh, the adaptive cruise there where I can actually tell the vehicle how far I want to pace cars in front of me. And if I'm on a road trip, I might go ahead and just kick it down to eco or, or another drive mode, which is going to be uh, uh, more more road trip friendly. But uh, phenomenal, phenomenal element uh, telemetrics on this vehicle. So I'm going to put this vehicle on a little windier road, something you can really kind of see uh the the air suspension at work here i mean this has formatic plus which is very advanced and uh whenever i first started driving these cars i mean i was like you know it, it's really hard to to get these vehicles sideways i mean i'm hitting a curve like this right here giving it all she's got at 38 miles an hour on a sharp hairpin curve and no traction loss it's very responsive i feel comfortable Here's another good curve here. I'm going to really give it some juice. You can see there, 389 pounds of torque on a corner. I mean, that is, that's insane. I mean, the, the Mercedes product and the way that if you're a driver, you're a driving enthusiast. I mean, this is your car. I mean, I don't care what else you're looking at. The way you can really break it down and, and see exactly how your car is uh performing it, it to me is is exciting it makes you want to jump in the car and, and take it on a spin put it on a nice back road like this i mean 
this is this is the life. Another incredible part of how this vehicle performs is you're going to notice right down here on your console, you have a switch where you can raise and lower the vehicle. Um, the, the different drive modes already have a preset. Like you jump into sport mode, it's going to go ahead and uh, instinctively lower your vehicle. Um, or if you're going off-road, you, you're gonna, it's going to raise the vehicle for you. Uh, but uh, super easy to do. Um, obviously, when you're in sport, that lowered suspension, that lowered uh, height of the vehicle gives you a little bit better grip, a little bit better aerodynamics. And, um, you know, it's, it's super easy to make that switch on the fly. So the Mercedes I'm driving today is equipped with the driver assistance package, which is going to give you lane keeping assist along with adaptive cruise control. I'm currently at a four bar pace using my adaptive cruise set to 70, but you'll notice the cars ahead of me um, are, uh, are going slower than that speed. So it's going to automatically dial back my speed, keep me at a comfortable pace, which I select. It also has the lane keeping assist system. So you'll notice the, the car icon at the bottom of the screen there with the two lanes beside it. Uh, that lets you know the system is engaged. And for, for instance, right now I'm driving, I go to floating out of this lane without a signal on. The vehicle, you're going to see a, a slight feedback on the wheel there. It's going to alert you. And if I'm going to go on and journey over there, it's gonna, you're going to feel that sharp vibration in the steering wheel if you do not have your uh, turn signal on. This GLE 53 we're driving today is also equipped with the traffic sign assist feature. So you'll notice here on your center stack display, as you drive by traffic signs, it's going to update that to whatever the current listed speed is. The GLE I'm riding in here is uh, equipped with our panoramic moonroof. With the push of a button right here on your top cab, you can open up your top screen there, or you can just simply tell your digital assistant to open the sunroof. The upgraded navigation system that will come standard with the MBUX platform uh, is really night and day of previous generations. Uh, you can jump in there. You uh, you can do everything by voice if you choose. You can search by points of interest, uh, looking for a fuel station, restaurants. Uh, all that is uh, is all voice activated. You can also receive, uh, I believe it's up to four free updates from Mercedes-Benz to keep this system functioning smoothly. A big draw of our new Mercedes products are the MBUX infotainment system. This is Mercedes-Benz first touch screen, and it is uh, really a rock star. I mean, you can access this with multiple points using your touchpad, which is similar to like your MacBook or your laptop touchpad. It recognizes gestures, multi-finger um, uh, input presses. Also, you can use your haptic feedback controls here on your steering wheel. The right side will control your right side display where your left side will control your left side display. And it's also a touch screen. This is our first touch screen we brought to market. And I love all the uh, telemetrics you can, you can actually analyze with a Mercedes product. You can navigate over here to performance, for instance. We're in an AMG. Uh, you will get some additional input controls, but you can really break down, you know, G-force meters, different timings. And uh, you can even on this model up, raise and lower your suspension. I mean, you can go up or lower. Uh, that will be a part of the dynamic switch here, which will auto basically go to a preset between comfort, sport. We have several available options in this model. Comfort, which you'll drive in probably nine times out of 10. Slippery is beneficial in inclement weather situations. Trail mode, sand mode. I mean, it's very infinite, but uh, I love going in here and being able to just break it down, see you know how many pounds of torque, how much horsepower is engaging at any given moment. And then with your dynamic select, you can even take it one step further and go in here and completely make your own custom drive mode. I mean, there's not many options on the market to give you such um, such ability to really personalize your driving experience. One thing our customers are raving about is, is how many ways you can customize your display. And on the left side of the screen, it's also fully customizable using your left haptic feedback button here. 
you can take it right here on your display and, and completely interchange your left side, your right side, what's in the center. Uh, like if you prefer to have up, you know, you, you know, some suspension information, you know, different trip mo modes, audio information, route scheduling um, in the center stack right there. You can go between different, you know, AM. this is an AMG, so you'll have some additional um, dynamics there that you can go between and monitor G-force meters and such, different amounts of pounds of boost. And and uh, it's very in-depth, and, and I like the ability to, to kind of have up there what I want in my configuration. Um, I can even have, if I had a navigation address in there, I could pull it over here and have my navy up on the left side, um, you know, if, if that was going to be a little easier for me to monitor where I'm going, um, you know, in a traffic type situation. Utilizing your digital assistant as part of the MBUX platform has never been easier to control your vehicle by voice. You could simply say, hey, Mercedes, How can I help? change the lights to blue. Okay, I'm changing the color. And just like that. Your trim lights, if this was the night, you'd really be able to see it light up. I mean, if it's a non-driving function, most of those will be uh, controllable all by voice. There you go. That is America's best-selling AMG for very good reason. Give me a call today, 205-504-2358. Be glad to provide you any additional information to help you with your research. Or check me out online at themercedesguy.com or all my social outlets at mercedesguy205. I really appreciate the opportunity to give you guys information on the world's finest automobiles here at Mercedes-Benz of Birmingham. And I'll make you this guarantee, when you make it out here to Irondale to see us, expect excellence. Oh.